Hey there guys, so I have another unboxing video for you. I'm going to be unboxing Glory for Salvation. The new studio on by Rhapsody of Fire. So I absolutely really can't wait to um, get into this. And actually give them a um, give this album a full listen. Italian Symphonic Power Metal. Um, formerly known as Rhapsody. Formed in 1995. Was known as Thundercross from 1993 to 95. This is their 13th studio album. There was Rhapsody, but then because of the record label that was on, got pissed about it and I think they changed their name to um, Rhapsody of Fire. And then most of the members left. Um, Alex Storopoli, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, Storopoli is the only remaining member for Rhapsody of Fire because they've been through various lineup changes. Their last studio album, The Eighth Mountain, was absolutely incredible. I seen them on that tour at Birmingham at uh, Hard Rock Hell. Because I've seen Rhapsody of Fire three times and I've seen Rhapsody Farewell Anniversary once. But the last time I've seen them, they played the whole of the eighth mountain in full. <coughs> Plus a load of stuff off Dawn of Victory because it was the Dawn of Victory anniversary. And then obviously they ended with um, their trademark, which is Emerald Sword. So let's get into this and there's the artwork. I do really want to see these again. So hopefully they come over and play for this um, tour. There's a back with the track listing. Let me show you the inlay. That's pretty cool. I will be getting this on vinyl. I haven't pre-ordered it yet. I didn't pre-order it. I just thought I'd get the CD for now. And then I will at a later date. I'm definitely going to get this on vinyl. But I can't wait to listen to this album. Stupidly excited. I think I've listened to one track or something. That was posted up. And it really impressed me. There's the inlay. I will show you the book in a moment. big Rhapsody fan so I do have the entire Rhapsody back catalogue also Rhapsody of Fire but I think it's um one Rhapsody of Fire album I've got is a promo so I am looking for the standard edition of that album because um my one's only a promo edition there's a book on the front cover there's the track listing and oh, the credits are at the start which don't usually see that then we have lyrics, some more lyrics, lyrics, as I've said in other videos, I do love a good lyric book, lyrics, I will be playing this album the moment I've actually done this unboxing video, there's a picture of the full Line up. Giacomo Volley. I think that's how you pronounce his name. The first time I actually heard him, I was on YouTube, and I just thought, because I'm not a fan of X Factor or anything like that, I thought it was terrible. But I just typed in X Factor Heavy Metal, or Britain's Got Talent Heavy, you know, Wolves Got Talent or something like that. Heavy Metal to see if any Heavy Metal people have been on there. Then I found a video where Christian Eriksen, X Twilight Force, and um. North Tail was on there doing a song. He'd done Run to the Hills, which I thought was cool. And then Giacomo Volley was on there doing a Led Zeppelin track, which I thought, oh, cool. And then I, when I found he joined his band and I seen a photo of him and I thought, I recognise you. And then I realised he was a guy that was on X Factor, which I thought was awesome. Alex Storopoli, keyboardist, who's been in the band from, I'm guessing he's been in from the start. Then we have... Robbie D. Micheli, I think that's your pronouncing, guitars, Alexandro Sala, bass. Paolo Merchisic, I think that's your pronouncing, the drummer. I'll probably butcher that name. And there's the lyrics, Chains of Destiny. What a name, good name for a song. Then we have the rest of the lyrics and... There's the credits in which tells you who the members are and stuff like that and more of who they're thanking and where it was produced and stuff like that and it's a back cover. Actually can't wait to listen to this. I'm gonna go and give this a spin now to actually see what I think of the rest of the album. But the song that I have heard was it song or songs are awesome. I can't wait to listen to the last two because I'm guessing they're um Italian. Just from the name, I'm taking a wild guess. 
I will put a link in the description for um, Rhapsody of Fire. So if the name piques your interest, the genre or something like that. Um, highly recommend them. Fantastic song. White Wizard is incredible. But obviously my favourite Rhapsody. So under the name Rhapsody is Emerald Sword. And under the name Rhapsody of Fire is um, White Wizard. Which was a tribute to Sir Christopher Lee. Absolutely fantastic song. I run a group on Facebook called um, Power Symphonic. Which is dedicated to Rhapsody. Rhapsody of Fire. Ed Guy, Avantasia, Hammerfall, Epica, um, Sonata Arctica, Nightwish Delane. It's power metal, symphonic metal, epic metal, fantasy metal, neoclassical metal, traditional metal, and it's all like fantasy based, like um, goblins killing the um, knights and you know, that sort of thing, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, and that sort of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I've got a dozen of unboxing videos to um do and i've already just unboxed um about five unboxing videos so we'll be posting them on my youtube channel <coughs> over the next coming weeks and then a lot will be done tomorrow because i've got the day off so i'll be um unboxing all of them and giving them a listen now i'm gonna go and enjoy this rhapsody of fire album glory for salvation and i can't wait so hope you guys enjoyed this i'll see you in the next unboxing video so take care and stay safe